Welcome, everyone. Wait, listen for it. There he goes. Oh. 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 Ow. Sega! Um, welcome to Sonic 3D Blast. This is a game that I grew up with, and so I recorded it. Uh, when I was a child, this was when N64 was coming out, and there was a bunch of advertisements saying, get in or get out, and I couldn't afford an N64, but I really wanted to play 3D games, so I got this. <laughs> So you proverbably got out, <laughs> yet still managed to get in, which is pretty impressive. <laughs> sure. And this is the director's cut, for those of you who don't realize. Uh, Traveler's Tales Man. <laughs> John Traveler's Tales. Yes. John Telltale. <laughs> John Telltale. John, <laughs> uh, John Tales Prower uh, made a director's cut of this game because this game is far from perfect and he added a few more features to make it a little closer to that. And uh, yeah, you know, here, here's Sonic and he's... All right, he's Go, Sonic! You can warp through the big rings with the help of the Flickies. Chase after Robonic and defeat his plans? Steven, who is in this video? Who am I? Oh, God. There's me. There's <laughs> Mikonos fan. Hi. There's <laughs> Stefan. What? There's David. Yep. And there's our FTCR patron, Goldstorm07. Hello, I'm here to run another perfectly good Sonic commentary. Thank you for parting with your capital to give it to us. Oh. Capitalism's great. Sure. <laughs> Thank you for releasing me, Sonic. <laughs> oh, well, now you have to say that every time. I've got some things to do. <laughs> oh, are you going to get the... Where's Dr. Robotnik? I'll torch him. David, you know Spyro, right? Uh, I've I've seen a little Spyro. Not all the game. The first Spyro game I, I ever played was the, <laughs> the first one on the PS2, the Year of the Dragonfly, which probably <laughs> okay. wasn't the best starting point. <laughs> Yeah, that topic's done. <laughs> Steven, is this a 100% run? <laughs> it, 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 yeah. Nice. I get all the Chaos Emeralds and I get all the Sonic heads. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, Wait, do you get all the rings? You did? No. <laughs> okay, okay, because th th this always bugged me. I'm pretty sure everybody else bugged too. What do the Sonic heads do? The Sonic heads, if you get all the Sonic heads in one level, you get a continuum. Oh. Okay. I'm trying to get some Sonic heads. <laughs> oh my god. So if you're good enough to get all the Sonic heads, you'll never need to use the continues. I got it. <laughs> yeah, that's usually yeah. extra lives work in these games. Uh, Even though the platforming in this game is complete jank, uh, this game is really easy, so you don't need any continues. Uh, um, now, in the original game, um, the Chaos Emeralds <laughs> didn't do anything, right? Yes, they don't do anything, but uh, here in the director's cut, you can unlock Super Sonic, and it is just a palette swap. Oh, but shit. Oh. Right. Now, we do need to, to point out the fact we just saw Chaos Emerald. Uh, you saw the shape. It was it was flat, right? <laughs> now, here we go. Now, here we, the, the Chaos Emeralds that you see in the Genesis version, that's not the canonical version of the Chaos Emeralds of the Sonic the Hedgehog timeline <laughs> at this point. Those would be in the Saturn version, which actually has good special stages. So, oh, this is true. Yeah, well, because it's just the half pipes again, though. No, it's not just the half pipe, though, because, you know, they're good half pipes. Right. Because, I mean, there there's like the little there, there's little speed pads. There's like uh, sometimes two levels. There's springs. They really they took the Sonic 2 special stage and amped up what it could do. So so like the Saturn ones are way better than the Sonic 2 ones. And, and, and it has gotcha. the and it has the absolute best model of Sonic ever. Saturn Sonic is best Sonic. I will stand by this. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. You know I think Sonic. I'm really, I'm really fond of his model from Sonic the Fighters for some reason. I mean that's still 32-bit early Siege 3D Sonic. I think all all the Sonics from that era yeah. are great, and that's why it it is a criminal shame. <laughs> that we never got a Sonic game on the Saturn properly. Yeah. Because I want good Sonic. Yep. <laughs> How dare you? Well, there's lots of there's lots of fan games that try to do that. That's true, but none of them were made by the Sonic team in 1996, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, neither was this game. But... That's true. It was made by Traveler's Tales, although... Okay, so the, so the name you were looking for earlier is John Burton. John Burton. Burton. <laughs> yes. John Traveler's Tales. John Traveler's Tales, who has a YouTube channel. Uh, and he opened a Discord, and and on the first day his Discord opened, about ten million people joined, and I, I got his attention very briefly to ask him a single question, which was, and because I asked it on voice and he answered it in text, 
there's no way to properly document it. But I asked him the simple question, which was, did you decide to make this isometric or did Sega tell you to? Hmm. And the answer is, oh, you could guess if you want. <laughs> I have a guess. I have a guess. Mm -hmm. I, I think he gave an inconclusive answer that didn't answer your question and left you hanging to this day. Oh, no. Oh, it was his idea, wasn't it? No, it was Sega. Ah. Oh, that, oh, that's cool. Oh, they had a little yeah. uh, stage select. Oh, yeah, yeah. That is the yeah, and I, I, I was going to say I was going to say it sounded like it was a Sega idea, because remember, Sonic 3 was originally supposed to be isometric. So it seems like they're like, yeah, oh, do that for this. That's right. Yeah, this seems like it was just sort of a leftover ideas used for another game to get out the door. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, because uh, Yasuhara also helped with the level design in this game, who who is, of course, the, the, the man behind the level design of 1, 2, and 3. So this is like, I guess, his chance huh. to, to do some isometricness, even though it's a little funky, because there's, well, what you're doing now, which is getting flickies, which isn't Are there very... Any asymmetric... Sorry. <laughs> oh, it's, I was just saying it's not the most sonic thing in the world, but yeah. go on. Are there any isometric platformers that are actually, like, good and not just tolerable? Uh, <laughs> not that I know of. Well, how many isometric platformers are there? Let's go down the list. <laughs> Dear Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> the Game Boy Advance had a ton of them. Uh, right. So how many, how many isometric sprite-based platformers are there? Mm-hmm. Not that many. Yeah. It's this one, Sonic Labyrinth. Those are the only two. <laughs> Sonic oh. Battle, Sonic Battle, kind of, but that, that isn't a, that isn't a platformer, but it is an isometric Sonic game. Uh, so I thought like, we're just talking about games in general because yeah. the ones that come to mind for me are QB and the um, Spyro and Banjo games on Game Boy Advance. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I played that Banjo game and completely <laughs> forgot about it. <laughs> that was very recent too. Oh, we should point out. You see, the in, in the footage there was a little box that showed the flicky went off screen that that is also yes. a dx improvement you got hit yes oh for a second i thought the flicky died <laughs> i was like what that's I wish. oh okay. that's not a dx improvement <laughs> it's like if, if you're yeah, bad I, at the I, game so, all right so here <laughs> uh, here's a question i want to know which is that uh yeah, I, I, I had heard of the, the, the director's cut, but I haven't really looked into it. So I, I want to know, what are all the changes and differences that, that he did oh. to... This all movie? of them. All of them. That's a tall order, okay, Stefan. Most, <laughs> the, the most of the major differences, like David mentioned, how they, they like they like point whenever Flicky's off screen. There's like a pointer that tells you where they are. Stefan, you are assuming that any of us did any research before this. <laughs> well, no, yeah, but, but, I just but, said, but, but you, Stephen, record played, the game, and the then game. we showed up. You played the game, so I thought you would have like recognized like the most obvious differences. All right, well, uh, <laughs> I, uh, we saw the, the little Flicky icon that says, hey, Flicky's over this way, <laughs> because if you previously, if you lost the Flicky, you wouldn't know where it was. So that's I wanna, nice. I want to interrupt you and ask you a question that will segue back into this. It's been a long time since you've played this, I presume. Oh, did you notice a lot of the changes, or did they just feel kind of natural in a, eh, I guess that's how it works kind of way? Uh, so, honestly, there are some changes in this that I even don't like, Chris. Uh, oh, so, yeah. So, yeah. Um, the, camera, the camera work is a little better. Uh, some of the platforming on some of the bits are better. Uh, the platforming in this game is generally pretty bad, but he improves some parts of that. Uh, but... You can only get one Chaos Emerald per, per zone, not even per act, just per zone. So if you want to stack them up in the first two zones, you can't. You have to do it once per zone. That seems like a like really that. weird change. Yeah. Um, well, I think that it's kind of what they do in the Saturn version, right? Or at least, I know you can't no. get more than one Chaos Emerald in an... No, isn't the Saturn one the same way? Like, Or maybe no, it's just once so... an act? Because... In the Genesis version, can't you get like two Chaos Emeralds per act? I'd... Yes, you can. Okay, and I think in the in the Saturn version, you can only get one per act. Yes, that okay. So that's what it is. So he he made it even harder in this one. Yeah. Yes. Um, Good. Because you know, finding Sonic or or you are Sonic, <laughs> finding Tails and Knuckles uh, in the later uh, stages is uh, pretty hard. Especially because mm -hmm. they, 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 they don't even show up until you get 50 rings. Oh, my bad. We didn't even but, say anything about that. In some uh, places, to, they, they, they're they there. Physically, you have to find Tails or Knuckles just hanging out. 
and you give them 50 rings and they say, okay, you have access to the special <laughs> stage. Let me open the door for you, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 it is really cute in the Saturn version where you have the the tails and knuckles models fly you into the special stage. I always like that. Mm. Mm. That is good. I guess to pound out some of the other changes real quick. Uh, Supersonic's in, as we said. He's got power sneakers, homing attack, and invincibility at the same time. No, yes. I'm not just reading this. There's a time challenge mode, which I assume eschews the flickies and just lets you run through the stage. Yes. There's a whole level editor added, so you can make your own Sonic 3D Blast, did, which is... Did you do really that? Why? Did you do that? Did you do that? No, level editor just means, like, adding stuff into already made levels. Well, that's boring. Oh, oh it's like debug. It's, it's like debug mode. Then. That's okay, I guess. Yeah, it's more like debug mode. You can't really change the terrain. Oh. Um, some other notable ones I think that people would probably like. When hit, Sonic loses one flicky at a time, as long as you have one ring. If you don't have any rings, you lose all your flickies. I think... The behavior of the Flickies has also been changed. Like, they had kind of Pac-Man ghost stuff in the original, and I think in this one they kind of tried to just come after you. I, I remember nice. specifically the red one would actually run away from you. Yeah, he didn't like you. No, the red one just bounces, but he, the red one jumps, so that's what makes it hard to get. One of them runs and away from you. I forget which one it is, then. Uh, the the purple one, I think, runs away from you. Oh, <laughs> Sure, I believe it. Right, You didn't mention the most important change, which is the fact there's a timer on the screen. Oh, I thought he was going to say that the Flickies can take hits for you. Well, oh. Yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love this music. Yeah, there's a timer. Yeah, like the, the timer in the corner is not in the original. Also, I think the score also isn't in the original. Like, at the end of it, each act, it'll tell you how long you were in there. It'll tell you what your score is. But I, I feel... I, I'm not sure about the score, but definitely the timer is new. I'm going to go and check the footage from the original LP and compare it. <laughs> yeah, let's just go watch that, guys. <laughs> oh, wait, have you... I wish he would have, like, altered the hitboxes of the, the bosses, because uh, they are still bad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you saw me hitting Robotnik and then not hitting him. Oh, yeah! Uh, that I, I remember doing that uh, plenty of times in the 20 years <laughs> I've played this game. Okay, yeah, the, um, the points and the timer are both new. Okay, okay, so it is both. Ooh. Yay, we did it. <laughs> we solved the mystery. Oh, oh, man, I love it when Sonic is spinning like that. And of course, you immediately stopped having him spin. <laughs> because when I play this game, I try to keep him spinning as long as possible. <laughs> well, yeah, he's pretty much invincible. Yeah, it's neat. Well, kind of. But he but he has ice physics, so I don't really like it that much. Oh, he's spinning oh, again. Oh, there he is. Whee. Yeah, but he, it looked like his sprite looks like it's just smearing across. It's very amusing. <laughs> twirling, twirling, always twirling. It's like someone made an animation loop of that one frame from the Sonic Mania title screen where he's like kind of half stuck going, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I don't know how this isn't a GIF emote yet. <laughs> oh shit, well. There's a, he's, there we he's go. hopping. Oh, you got him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you did it. Don't worry. <laughs> There's tails. I just want to point this out. The um the green flicky in the intro looks like Big Yoshi. Be oh shit. It does look like Big Yoshi. Oh. Bye Tails. Oh, okay, so 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 they yeah, so 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 they do show up even if you don't have enough rings. Now, if you get hit, you won't have enough rings. You Luckily Steven played this game pretty much perfectly, as you can see here. <laughs> right. Now now you you can give the character rings even if you don't have fifty. Like it'll bang you. Yeah. Can, you can pay them in interest. That's right. <laughs> Just wait an in-game year, and Tails would be like, "All right, so here's how much you got. All right, now you can come in." Right. <laughs> wait, did the spike the did the spike balls change color from the other special stage? Yeah, we're getting the green em emerald in this stage. Now they're green. Yeah, I believe that's another uh, DX change. Is that the special stages have different palettes now? Ooh, okay. Very exciting. Right. <laughs> um, I feel like one of the things uh, John Burton mentioned was that Tails and Knuckles they each have seven special stages but in the original version i guess it was like if you went to tails and knuckles and tails and knuckles you would never actually see the last special stage which is supposed to be the hardest so that's why for most people these are super easy because you never get oh, to the hard ones okay yeah i always wondered why these hmm. were easy so you'd only get them if you did just tails or just knuckles the whole way through right although he might have changed it in this one hmm. where no matter who the seventh one is that's the seventh stage no, they're all easy. They're all the same. Oh, well, okay. 
<laughs> Look, I'm just... Yeah. Even though he says, oh, the last ones are harder, doesn't mean they are. Oh man, you got a Sonic head. Yeah, I did. Yeah. And I, uh, I get, I get all the Sonic heads. See, see because, because after after you do the thing with Tails and Knuckles, when you come back, all the rings come back. So I'm um, looking, well, I, I don't, yeah, it's been so long since I played even the original. It's like if you went and got 50, if you failed the special stage and went and got 50 rings and went back to Tails and, or Knuckles, could you re try and redo it? No. No, they take, but they will take your rings, but they won't let you back <laughs> That's in. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I remember yeah. that detail, actually. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. You'll be like, oh, S Sonic, thanks for investing in my mint candy stand. <laughs> My mint candy stand. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Uh, uh, what's your name, Chris? Chris, you haven't. We're also you buy one. You haven't played um uh uh scales sc tail sky patrol. No, but I think we I think we talked about it an hour ago. That's where we learned <laughs> that his favorite food is mint mint candy. Mint candy. It's it's tails. It's tails' his favorite food. Just like favorite yeah. favorite I'm not I'm breaks. not contesting whether it's anyone's favorite food or. Oh not, man, there's the crab. By the way. That crab is a prototype enemy, so we're factual here. I'm just saying, what the fuck is mint candy? Is it mint chocolate? Is this mint like it's white chocolate? Yeah. It's candy flavored like mints. Or made it's, out of mints. Mint flavored mint. I mean it could be anything, I guess. I'm just gonna eat a mint. It's like it's like candy mint. Have you ever had candy ginger? No. I'm in West Virginia. We don't have culture. Oh. Oh. Well. We put pepperoni in bread, and that's about it. Oh. Wait, is this an elemental shield? Is that new? Yeah, that's a fire shield. It protects you from fire. Wasn't wasn't the fire shield in the original? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I would okay. say I couldn't remember in Volcano Valley. I remember it being it. Charmy. I just didn't remember that. You killed Charmy. Do <laughs> it again. Uh, I will. <laughs> I like that moonwalking alligator you just killed. <laughs> yeah. He was having a good time until Sonic showed up. Yeah. I know so Sonic the... ruined his time. Relatable. <laughs> I feel like there's a an hour long video waiting to be made with a really serious thumbnail like in Sonic 3D Blast you are the villain. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's the thumbnail to this part 1, right? <laughs> yeah, and it, and then it, it says 30 minutes and I roll my eyes. <laughs> See, the ha having the timer actually on screen just makes you like really notice just how long these levels can be yeah actually yeah and, and it, it, that, that was something that always bugged me in the game is that I, I felt like if it was just one like if every act was just you're collecting all five of the flicky like just once mm -hmm. it, i think it would be overall better but the fact that you do it two or three times per act it, 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 it just ends up feeling really tiring and it's just like it, the the like the whole concept of the game and the design isn't inherently that bad it's just that it feels like it drags out for way too long Mm. Right, it's, it has it has pretty much the same structure as Chaotix missions. Gross. Oh man, <laughs> I, I'd actually completely forgotten you had to do it more than once. But uh, yeah. on a lark, Steven decided to stream the recording for this, and I joined in. And the first time he did, I was just like, "What the fuck? Why would it? Oh. <laughs> Why would you not go through the gold ring and then the stage? What is this?" <laughs> oh, there's no more rings. I wanted an extra life, but oh well. Yeah, shame. Yeah. Oh, so close. Uh, yeah. Well, let's go fight Robotnik again. Ooh. No, no, wait, that was Act 1. Right. No, yeah. Sorry. These levels are long. Five minute a five minute acts. What is this? Sonic Mania? Ha 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 Does that mean that there's going to be another Let's Play where you do the Saturn version later? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is our Fuck. second time doing the, 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 the Genesis almost called it the game gear <laughs> wow my brain is dying and then we got to do the piece and then we got to do the pc version Ugh, that's not <laughs> that's the one i grew up with oh wait is it yeah oh that means i never got past green grove <laughs> oh, that means you you played the worst special stations i'm sorry oh. wait oh. what are those like um they're they're trying to be the saturn ones but it's like super weird and cheap and not good because there's a difference. Yeah. Oh god. Yes. The Saturn versions, there's it's 3D poly, you know, polygons. The the uh, yeah, the the PC version is like uh, I don't even know how to explain it. it it's exactly. really hard to describe. It, 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 it's it's like a very uh, low budget version of the of the Saturn uh, special stage. Yeah. 
Oh. It's very... See, okay. Yes. Here's me as a Sonic fan for you. I just read that the PC version was based on the Saturn version, right? So yeah. So I was just like, oh, guess that's how it looked. Guess that's how them stages were. Never looked into <laughs> if those two were different in any way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. yeah, it, yeah, yeah. For some reason, yeah, the it's pretty much exactly the same except for the special stages. But yeah, like the, the, the design of the levels and the music, yeah, it's all the same as the Saturn version. Right. All right, I want to go into Office Max and getting a refund. Fuck that. You should. So does that mean all three all three versions of 3D Blast had different special stages? Yes. Yep. Okay. Wow. Isn't that weird? <laughs> <laughs> Why does this game get all the cool weird details? Well, I mean, because because this and and CD are the only two that have two soundtracks. Woo. Ooh. That's yeah, right. Oh yeah. And Sonic Three, if we want to get to that whole thing. Uh. <laughs> uh yeah, technically. technically uh, yeah. Partial. Partial. Just uh. We'll, we'll say that has one and a half soundtracks. <laughs> <laughs> one of the alternate ones is the real one, but not the real one. Oh, uh, yeah. It's <laughs> confusing, isn't it? Not anymore. <laughs> you could have killed me. Stefan. Oh, man. You you played you played Sonic 3. You can't live anymore. God. Okay, Sega. If Michael Jackson was still alive. If Michael Jackson was still alive. What? what? If, he was, if he was still alive, what, David? Uh, we probably would would have gotten Sonic 3 on mobile devices and we'd be complaining about the fact it was never put on Steam. <laughs> Can we make the thumbnail for this part? Michael Jackson holding Baby Sonic out the window. <laughs> yes, but it's going to be Baby Sonic from Sonic Underground. Oh. That's the only Baby Sonic in my eyes. <laughs> that We don't count the new wow. one. There's Charmy. He's dead. I can't believe it. killed him like four times already. Uh, Mecha Charmy. I love him. <laughs> Mecha Oh, God. <laughs> he's very powerful. Yeah, he's more powerful than Metal Sonic. That's right. See, Mecha Charmy doesn't have brain damage. Oh. <laughs> I forget that's a lyric sometimes. <laughs> Did you say a lyric? What? Yes. Oh. Sorry. I thought that was a part of the Sonic Bible where he's in Nebraska. Charmy gets brain damage in Nebraska, right? No, uh, Eggman gives Charmy brain damage, and then his wife is like, "Charmy, don't you remember me?" And he's like, "I'm a child," and she's like, "No, you're a, you're an adult." <laughs> is this from Archie? Yeah, is that an Archie plot? That is an Archie plot. Okay, this is an Ian Flynn Archie plot. <laughs> yes, it, oh. it is. I was being facetious. No. Oh, it is one. Of, well, because because <laughs> so you know, in the American Manual, Charmy is like. 16 or something but in heroes he's a kid right it's like eight yeah so oh. so sega was like well charmy's a kid and ian went um oh. what do i do so he went i i got a great idea ignore it no and, ignore it <laughs> well yeah that's, uh, that's what you could have done but he instead he went okay what if i have dr eggman kidnap charmy put him in an egg rape part of his life force gets absorbed and so then when he's freed he is mentally an eight-year-old even though he's still 16 this will be great david can you circle back and put pronounce egg grape a little more distinctly thank you uh, <laughs> yeah a little <laughs> egg grape ah <laughs> no oh didn't, didn't some weird aging thing like that happen to amy in one of the sonic comics uh yeah in the in the sonic adventure adaptation well, well a a a a amy 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 wished on a ring to make herself physically older yes i thought the rings she wore made her older no it, it was just <laughs> wishing on a magic ring oh i thought the rings that she was wearing made Who her wrote this shit this, this shit's so stupid grape g-r-a-p-e <laughs> grape ape Grape. Yeah, the egg grapes of wrath. Yes, of course. <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, come on. That's what they're called. Okay, but any, but but yeah, she she wished on a, on the, was it the ring of acorns? No. Or is it just? It was a magic ring. That's all that matters. It is a magic ring, and it aged her four years, and this was fine. One of the world rings, sure. Huh. And and they were like, oh no, Amy, you're you aged four years. I guess you better join us in this Sonic Adventure adaptation. <laughs> but. <laughs> But Kn Knuckles went from 16 to 17, and Sonic went from 16 to 15. Right. No, Knuckles was, was 15, then he became 16, and, and Sonic in the West was 16, but in Japan he was 15, ampersand 16, then he just became 15. <sighs> and, and then Shadow, for some reason, is 16, <laughs> even though technically he's either one week old or 50 years. Right. Oh, We should get into that more in the next part, because my head's going to explode. <laughs> oh man, I love parts. <laughs>